Algebra 1, number 5.4a, we're talking about scientific notation. And we talked about this a little bit in eighth grade. And take a look at this big, huge number here. This is 10 trillion. Well, scientists and mathematicians use a shortcut called scientific notation to write it faster as 1 times 10 to the 13th power. The exponent tells us how many places to move the decimal point. When we see something like this, a decimal that's really long, this is one billionth, and it could be written as 1 times 10 to the negative ninth power. It can be written as a negative exponent telling us the place value position of 1 on the right side of the decimal point. See? And the negative 9 tells us to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So our decimal point would be back here and it would be 1 times 10 to the negative ninth power. Now this is not a variable x when you see this. This big huge x is times, like multiply, just like in third grade when we use the x for multiply. I don't know why they use that, but they do. So scientific notation helps us write very large or very small numbers as whole numbers or decimals multiplied by a power of 10. So it's a lot easier to write 10 to the negative ninth, 1 times 10 to the negative ninth, which is the same thing as 10 times 10 to the negative ninth, instead of writing this very long decimal, right? And you wouldn't want to have to write 10 trillion if you had to do it several times in a science or math paper. It would be a lot easier to just write 10 to the 13th power or 1 times 10 to the 13th power, see? So it has to have one digit in front of the decimal point. Otherwise, it's going to be wrong. If it's done correctly, it'll end up being less than 10, but bigger than 1. And I'll show you. This is written in scientific notation. It's bigger than 1 because it's 1.37, but it's less than 10 because we don't have anything in the tens place. See? So we can write 1.37, which is 1 and 37 one hundredths, into standard notation. All we have to do is, because of this 4, is do 4 hops. 1, 2, 3, 4. 10 to the 4th power is the same thing as if we multiply 1.37 by 10,000. See? It moves the decimal point 4 hops to the right, and then we just add zeros in the empty places to fill in the place values. So 1.37 times 10 to the 4th power is 13,700. See? put a comma there because of those three spaces. When the exponent for the power of 10 is negative, like we have 2.8 times 10 to the negative second power, just remember that when there's a negative power, it means a fraction. Remember, whenever we see a negative exponent, we think fractions. So it'd be 1 over 10 to the second power as a positive. See? And 2.8 would be multiplied to the 1 over 10 to the second power. 10 to the second power is the same thing as 100, so it'd be 1 over 100, see? And we could multiply it to that. We could also write it as 2.8 over 100, because multiplying by 10 to the negative second power is the same as dividing it by 10 to the second power, or 100. We move the decimal two hops to the right. It goes from here, 1, 2, to over here, and we put a 0 in as the place, holder, and we get 0 0.028 or 28 thousandths. See? Just remember that zeros are placeholders, okay? And we can write standard notation into scientific notation, going the other way around. Standard notation is the way we write normally. And we can turn standard notation into scientific notation. So 15,860 will move the decimal four hops to the left, because remember, it has to have one digit in front of the decimal. So we can't put it here. We can't put it here. It would go in between the 1 and the 5, so there's one digit there. By moving it those four hops, 1, 2, 3, 4, we now have 1.586 times 10 to the 4th power, because we did four hops. See? Moving the decimal point four hops to the left is the same as dividing our number by 10,000. See? We have 0.3473. We can move the decimal point one hop to the right, so there'll be one digit in front of the decimal point, like it's supposed to have one digit in front of the decimal point.
Okay, got to drill that into your head. So we'll just move it one little space, and we'll write it as 3.473 times 10 to the negative 1, because we're bringing it this way. Moving the decimal one hop to the right is the same as multiplying it by 10. See? And then once it's in scientific notation, we write it as a negative 1, because we went that direction. See? And look at this one. We've got 0 .00198. And if we multiply it by a thousand, it would be moving the decimal point three hops to the right. One, two, three. So it'd be 1.98 times 10 to the negative third. See? Moving the decimal point three hops to the right is the same as multiplying our number by a thousand. Now, if you put 19.8 times 10 to the negative second power, see, it's one less, because we've got the decimal here instead of here. It's wrong. There's got to be one digit in front of that decimal point, not two, okay? That's why it would be less than 10. 19 is greater than 10, so it, this would be wrong. It's got to be less than 10, like a 9.99, or greater than 1, like a 1.01 or something like that. Now, if there's only one digit, then we don't write a decimal point. We just put that one digit times 10 to whatever power it is. In this case, it would be to the negative 4 because we're moving the decimal, one, two, three, four, five. Whoop, be the negative five, wouldn't it? Okay. So, however many spaces you moved it, that's what it would be. Okay. So, did you know the number ten to the hundredth power is called a Google? That's a Google right there. The number ten to the Google power is called a Googleplex. So, if you've got ten to the tenth power raised to the hundredth power, that's a Googleplex. 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 100, that's a lot of zeros. So what you can do is see my grade 8 math video playlist. There's going to be a link to these videos in the description of this video. All of these videos talk about scientific notation. It talks about the introduction of it, how to write scientific notation to standard, how to write standard to scientific, how to add, how to subtract, how to multiply, how to divide. It's all on scientific notation, and there'll be links in this video. Because the grade 8 math does a lot of Algebra 1 in it, and I did that last year, so you can look at that playlist for help, okay? The next thing we're going to talk about is multiplying and dividing scientific notation, okay? I'll see you there. I hope this helped. Remember, one digit in front of the decimal point. Bye.